Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. Well, a couple of days ago, I had a, uh, a question off one of my uh, subscribers. And they were asking me, uh, how is my Egyptian Predatora Beetles getting on? Uh, Anitha Sex Maculata. And as you can see, there's a one there doing perfectly fine. Just got to uh, fill the water dishes up. Uh, the other one is somewhere in the enclosure. So I'm going to give them a feed today. Uh, last time I fed them was around about four or five days ago. So let's take them off the shelf and uh, let's see if they're hungry. So as you can see everyone, I've taken out some piece of cork bark. So you can see the attack. So here is a, a fairly large dubia roach and uh, let's see if it's hungry. There it goes. It's funny saying let's see if they're hungry. They're always hungry. <laughs> there you go look and um, yeah they never disappoint and with dubias I'll flip them over on their back and start chewing their legs it's always, have, it's always nice to have something different in the uh, in the collection I'm still after them African predatory beetles but uh, unfortunately I can't find on anywhere at the moment there you go look now it flips it round once it's uh, bit a couple of legs off it'll stop the roach from uh, walking around thought I'd get a, a closer shot for you guys well, I'm not too sure how long these beetles uh, live for uh, if I'm guessing, I'd probably a couple of years. I've had them now probably around about uh, three or four months around that area, I think. I'll feed them probably uh, once every four or five days, I give them the feed. They're not very big. They're probably around about the inch, nearly inch and a half. Temperature wise, I'll keep them at around about um, 74, 75, and then I'll drop the temperature down to about 70. So it looks like that one's bit off a couple of legs already. So we'll come back to this one and uh, let's feed the other one. So here is the other enclosure, and like I did with the first enclosure, let's just take some parts of the uh, court bark out so you can. See the attack, there we go. And there it is just there, doing perfectly fine. So um, this one I'll feed it a red runner, have a bit of a, a mix, a bit of a change. And uh, let's see if it's hungry. Well, there is the red runner everybody. So it's got wings, so this is a male. And uh, let's drop it in. And the chase begins. The red runner is just there. It should uh, find its meal very soon. Just get more tongs and just give it a touch. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Have to be really quick with the camera. go it's finally took down its uh, prey the 
as you can see, these red runners are a lot faster than the uh, Dubia Roaches. One of its wings gone already. Let's just get a closer look. That's a bit better, everyone. So I'm hoping I've got these beetles for a a while yet but if I do get any um, African predatory beetles I'll um, definitely let everybody know so it's starting to uh, chew into its meal now the more that one's chewing let's see how the other one's getting on and there is the other one that took down that Dubia Roach. It should eat all this uh, meal. And um, they don't disappoint, as you can see. Focus. So as you can see now, it's not got many legs left now. Got two, I think. Yeah, two legs left. It's decided to walk away from its meal. Probably having a little rest. I'll come back to it in a minute. They don't take long to eat their food. I think it'll be easier for the other uh, predatory beetle to eat a, a red runner, the more softer in body. These were more, got a bit more of a harder shell. So it's going straight for the head. Some nice beautiful colours. So I think we'll leave this one alone now and uh, let's see how the other one's getting on. So here is the other one with the red runner and uh, there isn't really much left of that red runner. Like I said, just a very more, the more softer bodied than the uh, dubias. I would do a time lapse but... Um, uh, the light's not the greatest in this room. It's very, very dull. It's okay when I'm using my light on my iPhone, but there's no uh, light option on my time lapse. There isn't much uh, difference between these ones and the African predatory beetles. But African predatory beetles are about this, twice the size. They're about two inches in body length. And they haven't got them white markings on their abdomen. It's just plain black. Their uh, mandibles are a lot bigger as well. So there's, there's a little difference, not loads. So it's making easy work of that uh, red runner. And there's the other part of the red runner as well. So that didn't take too long, everybody. And I'll um, fill the uh, water dish while I'm here. And there we go, everyone. Water dish is filled. And it will definitely eat these little parts here as well. I think it's just taking... A little bit of a break there just to uh, clean its mandibles. And it's got some of the uh, red runner in its uh, clusoroi there, or its uh, mandibles. 
not much left everybody just that little bit there and that part there as well is it going to go back oh it's just eating that little part there So it's managed to uh, find that other part of the roach. So I'll put the cork bark back in and I'll leave this Egyptian predatory beetle to finish off its meal. And uh, thanks for watching everyone.